Vacuum and vacuum equipment is widely used in science, technology and everyday life, from regular incandescent lamps up to the unique Hadron Collider. So what is vacuum? Usually people say that it is a space with rarefied air, or it is a space inside the vessel, which is entirely devoid of air. But do such answers suffice? Can any rarefaction be considered vacuum? And is vacuum level in any way connected with atmospheric pressure? Let's assume that air inside a cylinder is rarefied by 10,000 times as compared with its density at a normal atmospheric pressure. That means the pressure inside the cylinder equals 0.076 millimeters of mercury. Will there be vacuum inside the cylinder? Can we still consider that there is vacuum inside the cylinder if we raise it to the height of 100 kilometers over the Earth's surface, where air pressure is only 0.007 millimeters of mercury? Because in this case, air density inside the cylinder will be 10 times more than on the outside. The cylinder will explode like a bomb if it is not durable enough. And where will vacuum be then, inside the cylinder or on the outside? Modern physics associates the concept of vacuum not with the pressure value outside or inside the vessel, but with the free part length of gas molecules inside of it. Gas molecules are in a ca continuous chaotic thermal motion, which reaches very high speeds. At the room temperature, the thermal motion speed of air molecules is about 450 meters per second, that means it is close to the speed of a bullet. When moving in all directions, the molecules are constantly colliding with each other. The denser the air, the more molecules there will be per unit of volume. Thus, the molecules will collide more often. If we rarefy air, then molecules will collide less. On the average, they will have to cover a bigger path between two collisions. Such path is called a free path length. From the point of view of physics, vacuum is such rarefaction at which the free path length is greater than the vessel dimensions. In this case, molecule collisions will be rare. When moving from one wall of the vessel to the other, the majority of molecules will not meet other molecules. Thus, such definition of vacuum presupposes that there is no vacuum in space.